Actually, wait, why don't we leave that like that, and then let's go over to here and turn... Oh, it's already at half. <laughs> okay. That's freaking loud for being half. So let's turn that down. So there's my voice, and then it's just... It's... Okay. I guess... Does that sound good? I think that sounds good. Okay. And then I can control it. So actually, let's go in here and turn it up a little more. Actually, let's turn it up all the way there. So in here, we can turn it down even more. And then I have more control over it right here, too. There we go. Okay, welcome to the stream. We're just getting set with sound and music and all that fun stuff from Game Chops Radio. I am deciding to do a little work on this uh, screenshots stuff, which I just found in my code and I forgot I put there from, of course, a past demo from learning OpenGL. So let's see what we can do. So the idea is when I take a screenshot, it writes the file. Like, let's say I'm in the game, right? I'm running this. Okay, we get the mouse to work after a few seconds. Okay. I left click and it should do a screenshot, but oh, we've got an error. Let's abort. Okay. So what exactly is the error there? So when we go into OpenGL, is there, okay, so what about the file? Cause that's the name, <laughs> the fstar.png. So there is the file zero, and it's already saved there, okay. So just out of curiosity, the file zero PNG, can we open file location? Okay, let's just delete it, okay. So it doesn't exist. So that's what this does, is it creates the file 000.png and it takes a screenshot where are we wanting the screenshot to be right there is that good I don't know so let's okay so left click oh why is it given a string is not null terminated program OpenGL line 39 core CRT internal string templates that age for information All right, well, let's figure out what's going on. Might be this. Although I don't know why. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Could be this. Okay, so let's start out by uncommenting. Let's just see what causes the error. See if we can figure that out. Do we ever use the data? The data? Yeah, it gets put in there. If data, data right there. I don't think that's it. So when we hit the left mouse button, it does this. Okay. Right mouse button does nothing. Okay, let's try it again. So we're trying to figure out what the error is. Okay, so left mouse button and there's no error. Okay. Right mouse button, nothing. Okay, so it's one of those lines that I commented out. So let's work our way through this. And the first one is the sprintf for the file number, which is fnum, in this case it's zero. Let's see if that does it. Just run it again. Okay left click no so it's not that I can left click and it makes that works just fine so in using this here those are all the same function calls so let's see if those break it oh it's one of those okay so I wonder if it's all three of them so BEGF 
file num and then extf. Okay, so let's start with the first one, which is BEGF. It's just sending the word the file. Okay, so let's see. I don't remember having trouble with this before. Yeah, so it's that first one. Okay, so is it just the first one or is it all of them? Let's try the second one. It's all of them. Okay. So what's wrong with this? It doesn't give a compile error. Does it give any kind of warning or anything? No. Okay, so the reason I'm using this string cat underscore s is because I was directed to by the compiler. Okay, this looks like I would, what I want to use. Go back up. Can we go up? Whoa, not too far. Easy there, computer. Is that it? Okay, copy that. Let's put this in a new file. File, new, file. Bum, 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 ba, da, da, da. Open. Okay, paste. So that's just going to be a uh, screenshot help. Save as. Uh, uh, OpenGL screenshot underscore help one. Text, and that's fine. So what was that other screenshot? Oh, I see. <clears throat> so all I want to do is just put the numbers in there. Huh. Well, first of all, let's go back into here. Yeah, let's just go down to here. So since those don't work, and I'm not sure why, if anybody's watching and knows why, please leave a comment or say something in the chat that would be great to know why but I have another workaround I'm gonna try so let's go ahead and copy this line and we'll comment out the old line uh, we don't need these anymore okay so let's try this file name 50 Can we just initialize it in the file 000.png? Can we do that, save the file name, and call it good? Okay, left click. There was a pause, but there's no issue. Let's go back and look at it. And in this case now, it should be the latest one that was written. Okay, so that actually works. That's great. That's what I want. So, all I want to do is take this char array. I want to take a directory listing, find out how many the files there are. <laughs> In this case, there's going to be one, because I just saved the file 000. And I want to count those, increment the file 000, in this case, to the number of the next available file name, which would be the file 001 in this case. 
and then set that to the file name and yeah okay are we good with that okay so let's just go like this and I know this could possibly even be inside some thing somewhere let's just remove and then we'll start it here so I can actually clean this up really well without worrying about deleting everything. Flip vertically, delete all this. Shoop. We're just gonna pretend this is a coding game challenge. Okay. So adding all those up, doing the string concatenation, all that fun stuff, okay. So the first thing we want to do is get a directory listing and count the files. The file start.png. Can we do that? Let's see if we can do that. Screenshot help. So what exactly is this? List dir const char path vector string list dir vector string is this a is this a function oh it's a function that takes a path and returns a vector string all files name oh okay so when i copied it it just got really poorly uh formatted and, okay so it starts out with a vector string all files name okay Struct dir int star entry. Okay, so what is that? Oops. What is the struct dir int? Does that have to do with these sys types? Fstream dir int. Oh, right there, dir int dot h. So can I include that? Will that give me issues? Dir nt.h doesn't look like it's finding it so what is it is used for directory access operations. Okay, so that's what I want to do. C++ directory file list. So maybe we want to do something different. All right. IO stream command system command. Oh. So that's an alias though, but yeah. So it's, oops. So system, just command. Can we do that? Dir ent. <laughs> it doesn't like that dir ent. I'm getting the squiggly. All right, hold on.
What? We need this. Son of a bean dip. Extract all. Beam me up, Scatty. <laughs> this is it. This is all we need. <laughs> okay, so why don't I already have this? Into the system include directory. So can I just put it into uh, here? <laughs> I don't know if that's going to make it better. Do I have to point that out, or... Oh, that actually worked. Okay, those colors are cool. Okay, so... Whoops. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Still squiggly. Computer, you stay squiggly. You do you. Alright. <laughs> so now that we can use durint... Uh, That's cool. F stream, IO stream, F stream, sys types. Okay, hold on. Do we have that? IO stream, F stream, sys slash types. Do we need those? Pretty sure we're going to need those. Let's just include them in. Okay. Okay, I included those, no problem. Zombie killer whale, who's that? Zombie killer whale, what's happening, sir? How are you? Hold up, clash of code, huh? Sounds good to me. <laughs> Trying to do screenshot stuff and make it fancy and whatever, but good luck to me on that. How are you doing today, sir? Let's invite Juice and Fred and Jat and whoever. Darrell22 is following you. Let's follow and invite him. Let's launch the clash. Ha, 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 ha. Ba, Whoa, what's going on? Dun 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 what is going on with this one? Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Dun, dun, dun. Decoder. Order now. Get your secret decoder ring. Bam, ba, da, bam. Let's see. Print. Uh, Ba -ba -da -da. This one's interesting, but 
I'm just trying to figure out what in the world. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice job, dude. Bum, 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 bum. CS. The first letter. Okay, so S, 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 S. So what it's doing is taking all of the the S, okay, and then it's reversing that and putting it first. Okay, huh. So let's see, collect all S chars into string, reverse string, and copy. Then copy all E chars. I can do that. I can do that. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so collect all S chars into a string. Okay, so the string is going to be A. I've got a sound that goes with this. <laughs> okay, so I turned down the desktop volume. Okay, I see how that works. <laughs> anybody, anybody else want to join? I think, yeah, I've still got the link there. Go ahead and join and give it a try. If you're new into the clash, I will follow you. Collect all the S chars into string. Okay. Forgot what I was doing. Okay, so now what we want to do is for I in range length of D. Okay. If D sub I equals S, A plus equals D sub I. So let's see what that does. We just get S. What about for test four? Oh, duh, 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 duh. We want M sub I. Okay, and then... Reverse string and copy. So we're going to copy it into B equals... Okay, so B plus equals A colon colon negative one, and now print B. So we're getting our hello, and there's a space there, okay, and we don't need that guy anymore. Then copy all the other char, so we want to do this. So we can actually go C there. And while we're doing this, if it's S, we do that. Otherwise, we're going to go C plus equals M sub I. So that we can have that ready down here. Then copy all. So then we go B plus equals C. Think I got it? I think I got it? Hey, I think we got it. Dude. And I didn't need any help either. Nice. <laughs> okay, message decoder result for char position in zip message decoder. If position equals s result plus equals char plus result. Else result plus equals char. Zip. This must have something to do with it. Hold up. Let me just look up what that does. Zip is useful for problems like this where you need to iterate over two lists at the same time. Whoa. That's cool. Python zip. Takes iterable learning containers returns a single iterator object having mapped values from all the containers. 
We just use the map of similar index of multiple containers so that they can be used just using a single entity. Hydrazer! What's up? <laughs> How are you? Long time no see. Sorry I haven't been uh, that active lately. But I've got a job interviews coming up next week because I'm going back to the workforce. Good grief. So let's see. Put a copy there. You want to join? Would you like to join? Who else we got? Juice? I think I invited Juice before. We got Hydrazer. Look at the slime in chat. That's cool. <laughs> we like it. Uh-oh. What are we doing here? Uh-oh. Why are we doing this? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm stretching. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. <coughs> All right, so let's see what we got here. Hey, uh, what do we got here? Uh, we're going to call him Men. Hey, Men, welcome. Glad to have you. And good show, 100%. Let's see what we got here. Boom. Okay. Think. Oh, are those 6F? Is that supposed to be the uh, hexadecimal? Ah. Isn't there a command for that? Let me see. Python uh, int to hex. That's it? Just hex? Oh. But there's more after this. But wait, there's more. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, so we just want to take off that leading zero. And isn't there a way to clip that? Python string clip uh, clip one char. Oh yeah, there's a way to do that with this. <laughs> Cutting and slicing strings. Hold on. Ba -ba. Okay, so it has to do with that. Where am I at? <laughs> so, uh, Hydrazer's got it. Good show, guys. Uh, slicing. Starting position. But also, okay, so starting position, we want it to be just one. Can I do that? Can you just go one like that? There we go. And then each time through, we just want to add that up. A plus equals. Ba -ba. And then when we're done, we want to print A. Now, if you would have asked me a year ago if I would have been writing stuff like this in Python, <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. 
Oh, who do we got? Nick Hill. Wait, where's the follow? Welcome, Nick Hill. K. Menisax Lama Cooler Kaka Kaka WWW. Welcome. That's my best. I'm not going to try to say it again. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have tried to say, oh, there's the join. I should have joined. Join. I should have joined. Use join. Okay, I'll, I'll remember join. I'll inviting you to join a clash. Click here to have a look. Wait. Wait. How do I go back to that? Is it in here? Should we join this one? I usually do private clashes. I don't think I can do that. It's already filling up. Can you guys join it? Whoop. Will that work? No. It's already filled up. That's why I don't do the public clashes. Because they fill up too quick. Sorry, sorry. Let's just go to a public one. Or a private one. Scratch that last one. Launch. Hey, we got a new one. Welcome. Whoops. Clash now. Follow from unknown. C++, C sharp, and rust. A little rusty, huh? <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just having fun. EE -E equals 13. What 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 does EE -E equal 13 mean? Why would that be there? Negative one. Oh, EE -E equals 13. Eighty-six thousand four hundred is the number of seconds in a day. That I know. Seconds equals int, and then just so. What's this? Thirteen. Forty-seven. Fifty-eight. Zero. So everything's the same except for 13? What? Is there some kind of a... I don't get that, why that would be an exception. Alright, uh, so first to get the number of minutes, we'll just go min minutes equals seconds divided by 60 and then you want to floor that. Okay, and then hours equals math.floor minutes divided by 60. Okay. Uh, so print hours print minutes print seconds 3204 so hours is 3 minutes oh but what we want to know is right is it like that Four. Oh wait, no, we don't want to do that. That one we do want to do. Or wait, hours was right. Okay, minutes we want to go two hundred and four. Okay. 
Okay, hours, minutes, and then seconds. Okay. So then... Isn't there a Z fill or whatever it was called? Z fill one? I don't remember. So a string. Hold on. Oh, that's from what I was working. I was working on my game, you guys. I'll have you know. No. <laughs> so Python Z fill will work. Just make to make to make sure to call Z fill on a string. I forget what it does though. Fill the string with zeros on its left until it reaches a certain width. String Z fill. Okay, and we want to use it like so hours dot Z fill two. Actually, let's just print that. Wait, did I do that right? String dot Z fill. Juice! <laughs> What's up, juice? Our Z fill too. Does that work? No, that, that doesn't even work. Oh, no, it has to be on a string. Right. So, string Z fill too. Ah. So they all need to be strings you feel too. <laughs> String of that dot Z fill two. Okay. Chilling. <laughs> what? Bing chilling? What? What are you chilling? <laughs> Not sure I want to know. Uh, string hours. Clean up your code. Jeff, what are you doing? Okay. Actually, does that work then? That, that, that. Okay, so that. And then in between each one of these, we want to add a colon. Like that. And then this one, A plus equals this. Okay, we're getting there. We are getting there. <laughs> uh, what are you guys doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's take that out. Okay, now we forget when it gets to hours here so if hours equals 13 okay we do something else a plus equals ee -E. else we do that okay we have to do the same thing for minutes okay if minutes equals 13 we go a plus equals e, -E. <laughs> see we're getting that we are g is it seconds as well ba, 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 ba. Okay. Uh-oh. Broken. Found 24. Oh, duh. So hours... Okay. Uh, hmm. 
equals math floor minutes. I don't think ours is used to compute anything else, so we can put it right there like that. Whoops, E13. Wait, I printed 13 on minutes? Why would it do that? Oh, because minutes mod 60. Son of a bean dip, Jeff. Okay. Now, did we get all the tests? Did we get all the tests? 80%! I knew it! See, I got 100%, but then I just, there was something. I bet you it had to do with... Oh, I didn't do seconds the same way. I should have done seconds. Mod 60 right here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's right there. You know, I'm, I'm a thinker. I really am. <laughs> I am a thinker. Okay, nine minutes, dudes. Oh, holy smokes, look at this. GM time, GM time. That looks like a regular expression kind of thing. That's cool. E-girl? That's a new command. <laughs> seconds, quotient seconds, div mod seconds, hours, minutes, div mod. Oh, cool, look at that. So what's this div mod? That's cool. Python div mod. Returns a tuple containing the quotient and the remainder. Oh, that's handy. What? Bum, 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 bum. That's handy. Okay. What's my ranking? 16? Oh. Oh. Hi, Drazer. Look at that. 815. Look at that. Look at this, 10,101, that's a binary number, isn't it? Mine's 16,224, less than uh, 16, 635, is it? Anyways, binary, some kind of multiple of two. All right, let me do my stuff here real quick, go back to what I was doing. We'll do another clash in just a second. Okay, so this works. Directory listing and count the files. So I included all of those. Opender path. Oh, okay. So open dir. Structure dir int entry. Ah, dir open dir path. Okay, so dir. Uh, re dir return a point of the entry. This will give you a tap on the text. Okay, so while entry equals. Oh, re add. Read dir. Okay. While entry equals read dir dir. Return a point of the entry of a folder could be any type, not only text. Is not equal to null. All file names dot pushback. Oh, so this will kind of okay. Close dir dir return all file names. I like that. So can I just take this function? Let's see what we got. What's this read file? I don't want to read the file. I just want a list of the file names. Uh, this is a function too, so let's put it down here, I guess. I don't do the namespace thing just yet. I gotta fix it here. Okay, listener, confident. Okay, so, and I think I have to take this 
because it's a function I have to declare it before I and it gets declared up here and this I don't have to have the name up there there we go okay just doing that did I break it did we break it you guys see what I'm working on oh I broke it son of a bean dip where's the error lister function must return a value Can we just go like that? And then we're screwed because... No. <laughs> Did it work? Ah, oh, it works. So I'm going to work on some... This is my base kind of a thing that I made, but I want to do a better one. And I was thinking I could do it like... Um, where's it at? I want to do it like these from Minecraft, the ice spikes. I want to figure out the algorithm to make those. Only add like a little disc right in the middle, or a disc up at the top and a disc at the bottom, or disc, you know, random discs. So it like looks like a space station kind of, and then have little towers around it to be kind of like Atlantis. But I don't know. We'll see what what we do. So that actually works. Okay, we don't call the function. We're not gonna do that yet. <laughs> Let's see what we're at, where we're at. Where's the clash? Still working? What do we got? Oh, it's already finished. Let me refresh. Did we, I'm sorry. Oh, dude dropped out. All right, it's all right. You guys wanna do another one? Are we down? You guys like the music? It is from the Video Game Study Lounge on Game Chop's YouTube radio channel. It's pretty cool. They take old retro video game music and they remix it. And it's pretty awesome. Hey, Jat. I'm already following you, right? Yeah. Okay, what do we got? Whoa. Ba, 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 ba. Oh. I think I've done this one before a long time ago. That's why I recognize what it is. Okay, L. And then let me see what happens when we just do that. Hydrazer has got it. Hey, what happened to the music? I don't want to just hear my voice. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't want to just hear my voice. I remember you said you don't use Git. You should try it, though. You can learn the basics very quickly, and it'll be useful for you. I'm sure it would. In fact, I have it on my to-do list eventually. It's one of those eventually things. <laughs> now, can't I just cast them all to uh, integers? No. Print L, okay, so now we're just gonna go for I in range. Length of L, okay. And then we're gonna print L sub I. Hey, men and Jat got it. You guys are getting it? Okay, and then uh, I am slow as a slow programmer. <laughs> okay, same result. So, let's just go like this. P 
Whale got it. I got it. Pending results. Let's see what you got, whale. Num in map. Oh, there it is. Int input split. Okay. In map. This is so. Python is so interesting. That is so cool. Okay. Whoa. L equals sum int e star negative one star star int e for e and input split. Print L. Pearl. For glob. Okay, good job, guys. So much fun, actually, to see what everybody does. And we got whale, that's one. As long as we get one, we're going to launch. As long as we get one other, we're going to launch. I came first in International Math Olympiad. Laugh out loud. Oh. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Interesting, okay. Okay, I'm thinking about this one. And I probably won't do this one. But I am thinking about it. Because I want to do this. So... Let's try this. Uh, so in here, let's try this and see vector string name of files equals lister. Oh, all right, we gotta. Lister. Name of files dot size content of the file equals read file. Actually, we don't want the content of the file. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Well, we don't want that line anyways. Content of the file. We just want to know the file name, names of files. So then can we just go print F, um, should, and that's a string, so will that do it? This might be a lot because, oh, lister, we don't want that to be the lister. Okay, home, username, documents, no, we just want to go, uh, will that do it? Let's see. We're gonna break it, it's gonna break, we're gonna, it's gonna freak out. It's running. Well, wait till I hit left click. Uh oh. Oh, it did something. Oh, look at the craziness we got here. You know, I like those file names, I really do. <laughs> 
I don't I don't think that'll work. So let's try putting in the whole path. No 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 no. Where are we at? Uh there. There. Does it not like that because does it have to be a literal like this or what? Or was it wait, hold on. Is it supposed to be like that? Oh, it actually worked. Okay, we got a blip. Okay, now we get nothing. So... Is it right here? Does it run across this? Printf. Uh, no good. Let's see if it'll print that. Yeah, no good. So it's getting in there. It's the dir equals null. So, so the path. So the path is the problem. So when I do that, uh, where was that other one? The file.png. Everything's in relation to the current directory. So why don't we just go, can we do that? No good. <laughs> Oh, just the dot. I bet you it's just the dot. Hold on. Hold the phone. That took a little longer. Oh, we got something, but we got a whole bunch of... Why did it print them like that? So what's uh, what's the what's the what's the here? Name of files, the vector. This one seems to work great, right? Uh, 
Actually, yeah, let's do that. All we want to do is count. So we don't need to return anything. So let's change this to avoid. And let's just change this to a counter. files name we don't need that okay so all I want to do here is printf percent s that's all we want to do Close der, der, okay. Whoops, did I do another mistake? What was the other, where's the error? Oh, I didn't change the name of the function call. Okay. And actually, we're just going to call the function. No, we're not going to use that. Maybe we will return a value after this. Yeah, we'll return a value. So left click. Aha! That works. Okay, great. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta stretch, and then we're gonna figure this out. I'm gonna count the PNGs with the with the file name that I want to... Okay, I'll be right back.
I know, and don't ask me why I decided to all of a sudden work on this, but I decided to. So that's really cool. So the counter, let's make that return a integer, I guess. Unsigned integer. And then here we'll return zero. And then as we go through here, we'll have an unsigned integer. Uh, answer equals zero. And then as we print each one, we'll just go A plus plus, return A. Okay. And then right here, now we're just gonna print percent D comma that. Right there. Okay, now we're just going to come down in here. And we're not going to print each one. And we're not going to print no good. <laughs> All right, will that work? Let's see if that'll work. Okay, it was quicker. Oops, we got a number. And then what am I printing otherwise? 49, 60, 28, 33. Is this? Oh, right here, the frame counter. Does that print it every minute or something? I don't know. So 1,208 files, okay. So now we just wanted to count. So if entry, so Oh, what'd you guys do? All right, so we got the direct der int. So C++, 
char array contains Oh, I see. Okay. Actually, I want to know something very specific, so... Let's try that. responding <laughs> we broke it we broke it oh boy computer really yeah okay so that breaks it really We just print can't we just print the first does that have to be a percent C let's see we're printing percent C from a char in C <laughs> okay it actually does So it prints it, and it recognizes it as a character, but it won't let me compare it to... Wait, if... Let's try this again. Did I use double quotes last time? I think I used double quotes and messed it up. Eight. Oh, it works. It works. Okay, so now we just want to compare, excuse me, the first. The first three, uh, or the first one, two, three, seven. The first seven. How do you do that? Let's print a string. Yeah, let's print this first before we... Uh, so we want to see a substring here.
god. Does this have to be the name of the string right here? What is all this stuff? How come it's squiggly? Why is that not working, huh? Hmm. STR STR Is that what I want? We'll see what that does. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, we didn't break it. We didn't break it. Oh, we got one, and it printed it out, and it works, and that's it. Okay, so the number one. I mean, it takes a while because it's going through 1,200 files, but when this is installed on a user system, it's going to be going through a few files, and that's it. So it won't take so long. So the A is the number, and we get that back. So that's 1. And then we just want to change these three. So we could kind of, yeah. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba. So can't I just take this and go like this? Call it the file, and then we just want to, because we know that's seven. So like in this case it's one, so we want to go file name zero one two three four five six. So we're literally going for seven. Seven, eight, and nine. <laughs> And 
Actually, we kind of just did this with the uh, hours, minutes, and seconds. So the ones column is going to be NF. So nine. It's going to equal NF, which is in this case it's one, but we want to take that and it's an integer, and we want to uh, mod that with ten. And then we want to convert that to a character. Will that work? Compiled. Seemed to work pretty quick. It prints out the zero. Wait, that's not the zero. Is that the smiley face? <laughs> bam, bam, ba da bam. Sprintf. This is how I got in trouble before. Oh, okay, hold on. This Peter, what are you doing? Ba -ba -ba. Char and then just that. Oh, in parentheses the other way. So that's kind of like a... Uh, See what that does. Should print a one. These colors are so cool. No, we got a weird face this time. And then we got that. Prints the file, the file, and then that. So that, print that. We don't really want to print anything in there. So we're only printing that character. Why is it? Is there other printf? Well, if this is the number right here, percent C. 
percent S. Whoa, computer. Hey, it didn't even show me the thing. Wait, what? can't do that. <laughs> so does that cast it? Start doing my code and game challenges <laughs> C. Oh, we got an error, yeah. Let's go like that, and then let's just do that and see if that changes it. There was no error that time. That's not the one I just took. Neither is that one. Let's delete them both. So we want to do 7 and 8 are going to be okay. 9 we want to change to whatever that is. Otherwise we'll set it to 0. Alright, so let's see if that works. Looks like that worked. Yeah, see, so we get it right there. Okay. So now, if it's greater than zero, nf is equal to a 1, hold on, let me look at the ASCII table real quick. 
Do I have it in here? Zero is zero. So computer. That would be weird if it worked. We just got to make sure after it gets to 10. Bum, bum, ba, da. So, if, like, let's say this is 10. And we go mod 10. And that should be 0. Right? Okay. And then file name 8 equals 0 plus nf divided by 10. But that's going to give a float. So we want the floor of that. And do we have, and then the floor is going to return a double. So then don't we have to cast that to an int? So that'll work up to a hundred, right? Now it'll work up to a thousand. Okay, well there we go. I have to take 10 screenshots at least to figure it out. <laughs> I feel like you're a model. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Here we go. Go down here. I know I haven't kept in track, but let's just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <coughs> and 10. Okay, looks like it worked each time. And we did 18, and look at that, we got them. Okay, so the screenshots, very nice. Okay, so screenshot work, and that's all. So thanks everybody for watching. Sorry I, I dumped on the Clash of Code, but I wanted to get that done. And I'm glad that I did Clash of Code because it kind of put me in the mood to do this. So I think that's all we're going to do unless somebody wants to do a 
quit clash or something, but I think we're just going to call it quits. That was an hour and a half, and I'm, I'm ready to chill on something else. <laughs> All right. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. Really appreciate it. Nice to see you guys again. Definitely going to do some more uh, Clash of Code here. So, All right, let's export that. To